The first reading, a reading from the book of Proverbs. When one finds a worthy wife, her value is far beyond pearls. Her husband, entrusting his heart to her, has an unfailing prize. She brings him good and not evil all the days of her life. She obtains wool and flax and works with loving hands. She puts her hands to the distaff and her fingers ply the spindle. She reaches out her hands to the poor and extends her arms to the needy. Charm is deceptive and beauty fleeting. The woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a reward for her labors and let her works praise her at the city gates. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Response Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. Response Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Response Blessed are those who fear the Lord. The second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief at night. When people are saying peace and security, then sudden disaster comes upon them, like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. The Word of the Lord The Gospel Reading a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately, the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the one who received two made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I have made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come. Share your master's joy. Then the one who had received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come. Share your master's joy. 
Then the one who had received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you did not plant and gathering where you did not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant, so you knew that I harvest where I did not plant and gather where I did not scatter? Should you not then have put my money in the bank so that I could have got it back with interest on my return? Now then, take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. The Gospel of the Lord Prayer of the Faithful Father Listen to our prayer. May the church, your people, be enlightened and sanctified by your wisdom, so that they may use well our talents and gifts for the bringing up of your kingdom. We pray. Father, listen to our prayer. May political and civil leaders, as well as policemen, use their talents and power to defend the life of the innocent, and to render justice to victims of terrorism and violence. We pray, Father, listen to our prayer. May all workers here and abroad who are experiencing difficulties and struggles in their work be comforted by the love and care of their loved ones and their community. We pray, Father, listen to our prayer. Like the industrious and reliable servants in the gospel, may we appreciate hard and honest work as means to build our lives and our future. We pray, Father, listen to our prayer, that those who have departed from this life may enjoy eternal happiness in the company of the saints in heaven. We pray, Father, listen to our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Father, listen to our prayer.